Discovering your husband's porn use feels devastating and shameful. What have you done wrong? What should you have done differently? Or what's wrong with you? Hi, I'm Kirsten D. Samuel, Aftershock Recovery Method Coach. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the number one painful outcome and nine additional ones that you experience from your husband's porn use. So many questions flood your thoughts. I call this the spin cycle. And as the spin cycle continues, your mind goes round and round, spinning into a mind-numbing vortex. Thoughts spill over and over one another. The shame feels suffocating. You try to convince yourself it's easier to ignore it and hope it'll go away. It won't go away on its own. And it's not just that. If you ignore it, you begin to experience other painful outcomes of his porn habit, starting with shame. The number one outcome you feel is shame. It feels demeaning when you discover his porn use. Instantly, you sense you can't tell anyone else about it because you look like a failure. And part of you still wants to protect him. What will people think of him, of you, of us? We all want to protect our reputations. The instant shame sears our reputation, and it hurts. Number two is distance. Depending on how you found out about his porn use, you might be shocked, disgusted, disbelieving, or a myriad of other emotions. The last thing you want to do is be close to him, or at least you think you don't. But then you think, maybe we should have more sex. It's so confusing. Your confusion about why he's looking at porn creates conflicting thoughts. You feel betrayed and unloved, and you want distance. So the gap between you widens just a bit more. Number three, strained friendships. His porn habit hurts your friendships. The support you need most feels too difficult to manage right now. You find yourself withdrawing, maybe ever so slightly, from your friendships because you fear you might slip and say something inappropriate. If you have a very close friend, you might dare to tell her. But what if she responds negatively? or doesn't believe you, or judges you, or laughs that you're upset about this. In your raw emotional state, you don't know if you can handle any such rejection. Maybe it's better to be quiet and stay away. This emotional conflict deepens your desire to withdraw. Soon you find yourself turning down friendly invitations, delving deeper into isolation. Number four, lose self-respect. Discovering your husband's porn use triggers thoughts like, I'm ugly. I'm not lovable. I'm invisible. I'm a failure. I can't please anyone ever. And I'm not enough and more. Your pain turns inward in unhealthy ways. Instead of realizing that your husband's porn use is his choice in struggle, your mind twists the information to inflict personal harm. The struggle to come to grips with this discovery takes you down a very self-destructive path. Number five, physical pain. Unresolved internal wounds or traumas eventually manifest in physical pain. If the source of the trauma isn't resolved, it's common for the person to experience chronic pain. Psychology Today describes chronic pain as prolonged physical pain that lasts for longer than the natural healing process should allow. Some symptoms could be stomach aches, irritable bowel syndrome, headaches, and other stress-induced ailments. The longer the person lives with this unresolved trauma, stress hormones like cortisol can increase blood pressure and blood sugar, which depresses your immune system's ability to heal. Number six is mental issues such as depression. Many wives of porn addicts exhibit depression or PTSD symptoms. Depression symptoms like can't get out of bed, don't care about anything, and many more. According to Dr. Robert Weiss, Dr. Jennifer Schneider, and Dr. Charles Samenow's study of betrayed partners of sex addicts, many women experienced acute stress and anxiety symptoms characteristic of post-traumatic stress disorder, otherwise known as PTSD. Some manifestations include increased need to control, emotional outbursts, easily triggered, brain fog, obsessing about the betrayal, detective work, and more. Number seven, anger. One thing I experienced was rapid swings between anger and rage. 
I found myself wanting my husband to feel the pain I felt, so I found ways to lash out at him. I didn't understand that this emotional roller coaster resulted from the betrayal of his porn use. I lost all sense of trust in him and anyone else. If I couldn't believe the man I married, then who could I trust? I was so mad. This tearing in my soul deepened my anger toward God as well. He could have stopped all this, but he didn't. Why? So in anger, I thought, God must not love me either. Number eight, control issues. When life explodes around you, the desire is to control anything we can. Studies show that emotional eating issues like bulimia, anorexia, and binging are all attempts to control something. Dr. Dan Allender says control is a common symptom of betrayal or sexual abuse. So it's not surprising that you want to know everything about your husband's activities every moment of the day. This discovery triggers what I call mommy mode in a wife. The energy focused into this inappropriate role covers up your desperate need to control. Number nine, you can't be yourself. Living a lie exhausts you. When you choose not to confront your husband's porn use, you make up excuses for his behavior with your children, your friends, and even lies to yourself. You may not verbalize them, but your actions reveal the pain. Often you can't see this until you look back. You seek to maintain the appearance of a good marriage, even though you know your dark secret. This type of secret destroys you from the inside out. How can you be authentic when you must maintain a facade? You can't. Number 10, people pleasing. Another common expression of sexual betrayal involves being the good girl making sure everyone around you is happy. The danger in this comes when you allow your porn-addicted husband to continue his damaging habit. You believe that by having more sex, changing the way you dress to be more provocative like the women in the porn, and making sure he's always happy, that he'll have no reason to get angry with you. You think you'll salvage your marriage and protect your relationship. However, in doing so, you begin to fade away. If you change to please him temporarily, is he really married to you or some version of you? Ignoring your husband's porn use or addiction won't make it go away, but I understand the temptation you face because I did the same thing. However, statistics tell us porn use progresses unless it's confronted. As much as we want to, we can't run away from or slap a band-aid on this addiction and trust it to heal on its own. Fourteen years ago, I faced the monster of porn addiction head-on because I didn't know what else to do. However, nine years before that, I had ignored it. But God in His mercy didn't allow me to ignore it any longer. Well, why do I say mercy? Because God's plan for my husband and me included joy, deep love, and freedom from porn. To live that plan, we had to confront the monster and learn to live authentically. It took both of us working separately and together to conquer the damage of porn. Now here's the good news. You can experience this same victory that we live every single day. Don't know your next step, but you know you don't want to any of these 10 painful things in your life. Let's talk. Hop on over to KirstenDSamuel.com and click that blue button.